everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today we are going to be playing around with one of these three rainbow gradient jigsaw puzzles. They're all from the same brand, Arrow Puzzles. They're from their colorful series. This one is the rainbow feathers, we have the ribbons, and the water drop. I'm going to be doing just one of them today. I randomly chose to do the feather one. What I did was I wrote three styles of puzzling on a piece of paper and I asked my hubby to randomly put them on the back of the box. So if you look on the back, there's a piece of paper right here that is attached. I don't know what it says. Basically, I have the full sort, meaning you sort all the pieces as best as possible and then you start building the jigsaw puzzle. I have what I like to call my build as I sort meaning that I sort the pieces, but if I can kind of determine where they go, I put them on the board approximately where I think they go. And then the one that a lot of people do, which I don't, is you spread the pieces out, flip them all over, and then you go. So that I called a full flip, for example. I'm interested to see if one method is faster than the other. Now, I realize the images are not identical, but I feel they're close enough in nature that we could get an idea if I am faster by say 30 minutes using one method, I feel that method then would probably be better than some the other two methods. Not Some of the time would be accounted for the different image, but I also think that's a significant enough time difference that some would be accounted for the method as well. So what we're going to do today, just the rainbow feathers puzzle, I'll speed run it, let's see what method I need to do. I have no idea. I won't look at the other two because I don't want to give myself ideas beforehand as to what I'm supposed to do with them. So this one, the feathers. By the way, the artist for the feathers is Edouard. That's all it says. And they also did the raindrop or the water drop, I should say. And the ribbons is from Lars Stewart. There you go. So, very colorful, very nice. I left the plastic on. This, oh no! <laughs> this is the one I don't like. It's the full flip. The full flip. Uh, oh, fun. Oh, goodness. So, what I must do is open the box, take all the pieces out, spread them out, and flip them upwards. And people do tell me that as they're flipping them upwards, if they can kind of move them around to sort, they do but you have to flip them all upwards first before you're allowed to build. But you can kind of shift them around and do some flip and sort if you wish. Oh, this is my least favorite method. At least I think, who knows, maybe it'd be good. But yeah, so I have to do the full flip method on these feathers, which means for the remaining two, one of them is a full sort and the other one is a build as I sort. So today's video will be the rainbow feathers and let's just get to it. Do you think one method will be faster than the others or very similar? Do you think the images are too different that it's not a fair comparison? It's really hard because if I do the same jigsaw puzzle over and over again, I know I become familiar with it. So yeah, leave your comments below. Now you may have noticed I got these different boards on my table and you see some pieces. They will appear in the background of some photos because it's just too hard to move. This is part of my first bag from Educa's Around the World Jigsaw Puzzle. So the first 6,000 pieces are being built and it's, it's a labor of love. I'm, I'm enjoying it and that video will be coming out very soon, the first one of the first part of the build. My goodness, so lots going on. During the voiceover, I'll actually talk to you about the um, schedule for the channel, things that are coming up, the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships in Spain, and I'll also give you my, I, my thoughts on the full flip method. Oh goodness, wish me luck. I shouldn't go into it already like unmotivated. I, no, I got this, I can do this. Okay, so for the love of puzzles, Let's just get right in. So the first thing you're going to notice about the one hour 36 mark, it looks like the timer isn't counting. What happened was I had, I had thought I had paused the timer to go tend to the dogs for two, three minutes, but I hadn't. So when I came back, 
instead of unpausing the timer to start puzzling, I actually paused it and I noticed it within about two, three minutes. So the same time. So the time difference is negligible. I probably paused the I was probably away tending to the dogs longer than the timer having been paused while I was puzzling. But I think overall it's negligible, but you'll see that. As well, at the end, when the GoPro battery died, you're going to notice I didn't notice right away, so there's a bit of time missing. But as soon as I noticed the GoPro was done, I paused the timer, set up my other camera as quickly as possible, and then finished off the puzzle. And you'll see it's a different angle. It's more close up. I sped it up slightly, but it's closer to real time. My goodness. So what's going on with the channel? First of all, I'm still hoping to post videos twice a week. I will admit though that large Edgica jigsaw puzzle. Whoo, that's like, that's a lot. So I'm doing about 15 hours of work and then all the editing because I'm using both cameras to get two angles. And so my plan is my Tuesday videos will be shorter, quicker, easier videos. And then my Friday videos will be the Educa around the world puzzle. So that's the plan. Now, when I say Tuesday and Friday, most of the world, that's more like Monday and Thursday afternoon, evening due to the time difference. But I do plan on keeping that up. I'm getting more and more jigsaw puzzles, Ravensburger 500 pieces to speed run and practice for the worlds. Because if you've seen, I'm going to the worlds in Spain. Those videos, though, I'll probably do like compilations. I'm not just going to do one puzzle, maybe two or three puzzles at a time. And yes, world, so excited. So basically I will be go as an individual. I will represent New Zealand and then Jeanette will represent Slovenia, Vicky, the UK, and then Juby, Australia. Myself and Jeanette will pair up and we will do the pairs under New Zealand. We had to pick a country. We went with New Zealand. I gave her the choice. She said she wanted to be a Kiwi for the day. And then Juby and Vicky will pair up. And I believe they paired up to play under the Australian country. And as a team, the four of us will partner all together. And we decided to go under New Zealand as well. So what's interesting is, if I understand correctly, the individual is one 500-piece jigsaw puzzle. There's like two preliminary rounds and a final round. So that's a lot of puzzling you have to do as an individual. For the pairs, there is a preliminary round, I believe, and a final. And I believe for both, it's one 1,000-piece jigsaw puzzle. Don't I looked it up, but now I'm confusing myself because I think they've changed it a bit from last year. I do think... For the preliminary and the final, you do one 1,000-piece jigsaw puzzle together as a pair. Then for the team, there is a preliminary round and also a final. And from what I understand, they've changed it a bit. I believe they give you four jigsaw puzzles and you pick two of the four. And they're 1,000-piece each. And you have to try to complete two 1,000-piece jigsaw puzzles in the time allotted. Um, and I believe that's for both the preliminary and the finals. Don't quote me on that. I swear I just looked it up, but oh my goodness, I easily forget things. But yes, yeah, so lots going on with the channel because the second week of March is when um, we're planning to start display the full big Graphica travel around art jigsaw puzzle up in that showroom. And that'll keep me busy because I'm going to have other interactive jigsaw puzzles out and about. I will film the whole mounting of the display. I'll do a tour. I can't wait. So I'm hoping the third week of March to have that video out. But yes, that's in the works. That's going. Everything is moving along nicely there. I'm quite busy and I'm loving it. It's so much fun. I love jigsaw puzzles and I love how supportive everybody has been. Um, locals around New Zealand are helping me out practice for worlds. I have someone actually sending me down, is it like six or eight, um, 500 piece Robinsburger puzzles. I just had to pay shipping and I can keep them and practice as long as I need and then send them back to them. How nice is that? Because again, like the last 500 piece Robinsburger puzzle I bought cost me $39.99. So $40 New Zealand, it adds up. And 
No, I know my times are not competitive on a world scale, but I'd like to try to make a good effort. So I do want to practice and I do want to do well for Jeanette and for the team. And I can't wait. So they'll, that's coming down the pipeline as well. But look at this now. This gradient jigsaw puzzle killed me. It just killed me. It was so tricky. I thought gradient easy, not for speed puzzling. This one, it didn't have much detail. The lines in the feathers, are those called like feather membranes or I'm not sure what they're called. That'd be so interesting to know. And that helped. But I will tell you the center part, maybe I was tired, but the wet I'm finishing up right now, the yellowish and greens, they just all blended together to me. The darker colors were definitely easier. The purple, the dark blue, the dark red, even the orange. Normally I have more difficulty with the reddy, orangey colors, but this one was definitely the yellowy green part. It, it was very similar. Oh goodness, I'm glad I did it but you'll hear in the outro how I have doubts on whether or not my experiment is really quite good to apply to these three jigsaw puzzles. Perhaps I should have done a 500 piece and something with more images, um, not color gradients. But wow, oh goodness, this is probably my slowest speed run time. You're gonna see it finishing here right soon, just under four hours and 52 minutes. Oh, my back was killing me by the end of it. I couldn't believe how long it took. I tried, I tried my hardest. But yeah, that was the full flip. Oh, hated flipping over all those pieces, all over the table. My goodness, how do people do it? That was so difficult. That was so much more difficult than I expected. In fact, it took me nearly five hours. My final time was four hours, 51 minutes, and basically 40 seconds. Whew, that's a long time. I don't know if color gradient puzzles are, are all that easy to speed run. I love doing them, but this was tricky because there's not that much detail in the jigsaw puzzle. There's the lines and the feathers, and I did my best, but I was getting tired at the end. The yellowy green part, oh, my eyes just lost it, just lost it. Flipping all those pieces, a thousand pieces is a lot. Maybe I should have tried to find 500 piece jigsaw puzzles with actual images on them, but these are the three that I had that were very similar. But spreading out a thousand pieces, no, I did not like that at all, but I know people that do it. So I'm just wondering if the other two puzzles are gonna be just as difficult and take just as much time, no matter what type of technique I would use, just because they're color gradients and they're more difficult to speed run. Who knows? What do you think? Leave your comments below. Or do you think because I'm not used to the full flip method that I was slower having to then go and try to find all the pieces on the table, whereas if I did a full sort, maybe that would be better, or build as I sort. There's very little I could have built as I sort here, probably the border, Maybe some of the, the lines, perhaps? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. So I have the water drop left to do and the ribbons. I don't know which technique is for which one and we'll see when I get to that one, but I'd like to know your opinions. And in fact, I took so much time, my GoPro battery um, ended up running out of juice, so I had to switch cameras. I'm just glad that I noticed that and I didn't miss the last few pieces going in. But yeah, I'm tired. This this was tricky. This was tricky. I did like that the puzzle came with a poster, although it's small. Um, you know, I think it's better than the box, but it is rather small and the pieces are very shiny. I'm in the garage, which is the doggy playroom. It does have okay light, but it just reflects a lot. So I stood up most of the time trying to look top down to have a better view of the jigsaw puzzle. That hurts your back, that tires you out. So I don't know if my experiment was appropriate to use on such puzzles, the color gradients and thousand pieces. Perhaps I should try to do on three 500 piece puzzles, but these were the ones that I had on hand. So we'll keep going with it. I'm thinking if I had to guess my prediction, the other two puzzles are going to take me just as long. I don't think the technique that I use will affect them whatsoever. 
because it's the difficulty of the color gradient that's going to trip me up. And the technique, I don't think, for these puzzles will add, be any advantageous one over the other. I don't know. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Oh, goodness. I need, I need to go rest my eyes now. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!